Hello guys, Keith White on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to smash the subscribe button. We're now 8, sub eight subscribers off 3,100. Of course, I've done the, ma the match preview for the Millwall game a couple of hours ago. This is the second video of today, but of course, the transfer window closes in the next couple of days as well. So yeah, go and watch the Millwall preview if you haven't um, after you yeah, if you haven't already after watching this video, so yeah, we've got a transfer video for you guys today. So the transfer window, as I said, closes this Friday. This Friday is deadline day, I believe. And uh, yeah, we've got an interesting story to talk about in today's video. Birmingham City, Birmingham City, and Stoke City in the mix for Premier League attacker. Let's get straight into it. So Championship clubs, Birmingham City and Stoke City, are in the mix to sign Aston Villa forward. Kean Davis, according to The Athletic. The 25-year-old striker is surplus to requirements at Aston Villa and the club are keen to move him on before the transfer window closes on Friday. Several championship clubs are interested in getting their hands on the forward, but his future is yet to be sorted out. Apparently, Hull City have agreed a fee with Villa, but, they're yet, uh, but they are yet to agree personal terms on a contract with Davis. It, is ha it has been claimed that Birmingham and Stoke are also in the mix to get their hands on the striker this summer. The two championship clubs are keen to work out an agreement with Aston Villa and they look to convince Davis. Welsh outfit Swansea City are also in talks with the striker Kian Davis. Um, yeah, I wonder if um, I wonder how this is going to work out. You know, um, negotiating with our rivals. I mean, we got Hogan from them, I believe. Yeah, we did. Gary Gardner from them as well. I mean, wouldn't surprise me if we get this player in as well from Aston Villa. So, um, Davis has also attracted interest from Italy, where Udinese have, have him on their shortlist of striker targets. So, Kean Davis, age 25, senior career. Let's have a look. 73 appearances for Villa, three goals. 15 appearances for Nottingham Forest on loan, five goals. And 34 appearances for Watford on loan, 7 goals. Of course, he scored against us last season in that 3-0 win over us for Watford as well. So, we've got three strikers at the club currently. Hogan, Jukovic, four, sorry, four. Jay Stansfield, Hogan, Jukovic, Cosgrove. Cosgrove, how how has he not left the football club already? And, yes, if Davis does come into the football club and we get rid of Cosgrove, obviously we're not, we're not going to have five strikers. That's that's obscene. So if Cosgrove leaves, which I'm expecting him to, I'm expecting Cosgrove to leave on loan to like a League One club. I don't know why we don't just sell him, but I guess no one wants to pay an, an actual transfer fee for him, do they? So uh, yeah, we'll have, we would have four strikers at the football club, and I think in the league, in the Championship. Having three is not really enough, is it? To be fair, because I remember the last time. The last two times we got promoted, we had a lot of depth in the striking department. We had about four strikers. We had four strikers fighting for their place in the team. And I think that's what we have to do this time round as well. Because let's say if Stansfield, let's say if like we pick up like one or two injuries up front, then you know you've got to have that depth. You've got to have that um, backup options in case something happens. So yeah, I know we play some Villa. But yeah, would you guys take him at the football club? It's been Keep Watch on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we could hit 100 likes. Like I said, the transfer window closes in the next couple of days. We still haven't signed that centre back, by the way, that Fabrizio Romano said, yeah, we've agreed a 3 million deal for, deal for him. He had his medical yesterday. Still not happened. Nothing, no, I've not heard anything. Coffee. Hopefully, uh, that's going to be different tonight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, keep watching.